Right guys, Gaft is back. Now this video is me thanking you guys for all your support. I will just quickly show you, this is my, um, this is going to be my holiday bundle I'm going to take with me. This is my everyday carry for my holiday coming up. I've showed you, but I'm just going to show you. It looks a little bit more full now. I'm not going to go through all the stuff that's in here because I've showed you already. But I've got my, oh, the, I, let me just show you this. I haven't showed you this. I bought this. Uh, I'll move that a minute from oh god it was it might have been the canary islands and it would have been fort aventura about five years ago i've always looked for a wallet that will carry a lot of stuff and i haven't got a lot of stuff in here but it carries a lot of stuff let me show you we've got a little pocket here with a little press stud now, but I haven't even got any cards. Let me just grab some cards quickly. Let me just grab some. Oh, here we go. Then let's load it up. We've got a top of the box gaff. Oh, this is a double prediction top of the box gaff. That slides in there nicely. We've got a magnetic top of the box gaff plus the other gaffs you need to do that particular trick. So we'll open this up and we'll slide that in there this here let me show you i don't even know what this is actually oh this is my all-time favorite go-to impossible looking packet trick now i call this david blaine stand up monty but i have been corrected on that but when i first saw this trick david blaine was standing up doing it so there we go oh put those back in the sleeve actually that can go in there. Right, we've got that. We've got the top of the box. We've got that. We've got magnetic joker. We'll flip that over. Oh, um, I haven't showed these much, but this is, without revealing the back, that is, oh God, what's it called? Face off. You know what that trick is? Spectator signs two cards. They end up melting together. So that's that. This, oh, this is Gaffer's um, telepathy gimmick when you can, somebody can write a card on it through the box, you then know what the card is. So that can go in there. This is Little Door by Roddy McGee. That can go, does that fit in there? No, I want to keep that one quite safe actually because it's got that on it. That go in there? No, I'm going to put that. Where should I put that? Oh, I know, I'll put it in there. So that's that. So that's those gas. What else have we got? Oh, we've got another couple here. Look. Oh, this is the card case by Hideki Tani. Where should we put that? We can put that. No, oh, that's going to stick out the top. We don't want it sticking out the top. Tell you what, we'll put it. What's in there? Oh, crikey. Huh? We've got two gaffs in there already. Bloody hell, gaffer. How many gaffs can you get in this wallet? Let me put it in there then. Will that fit in there? Should be a pocket here. No. Oh, there's a pocket there. Hang on a minute. There's me. This is going to be a video talking about um, my appreciation to you guys for your support over the years. So that goes in there, look. This goes in here. Let's get that in there. Right, that goes in there. What's this one? I haven't a clue what this is. Oh, this is, that's invisible to me. What is it? What is that? Oh, I'll tell you what, that is, um, I hate David Copperfield. And the gimmick is that invisible, I didn't even know what it was, but it is there. So where's that going to go? That can go in there. So we clip that over, clip that over, put that Preston back on there, look. Close up the wallet and I've still got room for some money. What have I got in this pocket? I've got a ten of clubs lighter jack of spades reveal. Um, oh, got a bit of flash cotton. 
So that is a wallet I bought from Fortaventura. It carries a shed load of gimmicks. Right, we're getting off the old point of this video. Yeah, it's just me saying thank you guys for all your support over the years. A gaffer would not be here without it. And um, this is my third incarnation of the Gaff Academy. Gaff Academy number one is on this memory stick sent to me by my good friend and subscriber, Trinity, AKA Darren. Um, uploaded every single video or downloaded every single video from the original Gaff Academy. And it's all on this memory stick. So sometimes when I forget stuff, I go back and get a little reminder. Um, the only thing with these videos, the quality of the camera wasn't great. I was using a dog blanket because it had paws on it as my um, working mat. But Gaff has gone up in the world with a proper mat. Um, this was a gift as well from... God, who sent me this? I'm going to say this was... I'm going to say this was Big Hands. Oh God, if I've got that wrong, I'm going to look like a right dick, aren't I? Big hands, a.k.a. Oh, God. This is embarrassing for me. Big hands. I'm going to say big hands. Because he's got big hands. Um, yeah, just appreciate you guys, your support. I wouldn't be here without you. Um, keep giving me the thumbs up. Keep watching my videos. Keep liking them. Keep commenting. Love reading the comments. If you've never watched the Academy before and never commented, please send me a comment, guys. I'd love to read it. And why not show you a quick card trick? Now this trick is a bit of an origami trick. I've showed it a couple of times, but when you get new subscribers all the time, a lot of people won't go back to your old stuff. So there's probably a lot of you have never seen this. Um, this was one of the greatest card tricks I showed on my holiday. So after all the tricks I showed, this was the one that people loved for some, oh, I know why they loved it, but it's a simple little trick. So I'm gonna show you a quick performance. If you wanna learn it, Come back tomorrow and I'll show you how to do it. Now, to make this look authentic, I need somebody to hold something. I haven't got somebody to hold something, so I've sellotaped a card on the bottom. So what we've got, in essence, is a card. This is just an ad card, bicycle ad card, with a little square hole, and I've sellotaped a card to it. And this is gonna represent a spectator's fingers, and they're gonna hold onto this card nice and tight. Now, some magic, or a lot of magic, um, you need the spectator to close their eyes or put this under a table, cover this up so they cannot see what you're doing. But all the time, they're gonna hold on to this. You're gonna get them to sign the face of the card. I've signed my name, Pete. A little scribble on the bottom, and you can see this side is blue and the underside is red. So they're gonna hold on to this here. I'm gonna cover it up. So I'm just gonna cover it with this best dad ever box. And I'm just gonna do, oh God, a little bit of jiggery pokery. Now the spectator is gonna feel you doing something a little bit strange, but they're not gonna really know what you're doing. They're just gonna feel something. So I'm gonna move this box. So the spectator never let go of the card. They were looking at their signed card, the blue side, Yet when you remove your hand, they are now looking at the red side and the blue side is underneath. Now I don't know if a lot of you guys are fascinated with the whole why are we here, the universe, but there's a lot of talk now about a parallel universe. Now in a parallel universe, the red side would be on the top and the blue side would be underneath. So if I just take this off screen quickly, this is gonna represent this being under the table. I will use my portal to teleport to the other universe and in this universe the blue side, the sign side is on top and the red side is underneath. Now that is crazy, I've got no idea how that works. Now I know a few guys are going to have a little giggle over that. But there you go guys, that's a fantastic little origami trick. Great for your ad cards or a normal card, but it gets a great reaction because it's just an impossible illusion. So thanks for your support guys, Gaff Academy number one. A lot of you guys have been here since the very start, six, oh God, is it? it's gotta be six years ago. Um, the first channel, Gaffer was a bit of an idiot, got too many copyrights for being an idiot, if you know what I'm saying. That channel got removed after struggling to get 5K subscribers. 
Um, I had another channel uploaded a few weeks later that got deleted for some reason, no idea why. And this is the third incarnation of the Gaft Academy. Um, a lot of you guys have been here from the start, so I appreciate that. I'm going to mention Trinity, Card Match Tutorials, Robert Ball Magician. Oh, Nick Z, not quite from the very beginning. Oh, God, there's going to be names I've missed out. And I do apologise for that, guys. But these are the names that regularly pop up in the, in the uh, comments. I know a lot of you guys have been watching me and not commenting. That's fine. But if you want to send a comment, just a thumbs up or something, that'd be great. I know I'm waffling. Um, another thing somebody said, Gaffer, how do you know so many tricks? Now, in all honesty, I've forgotten ten times more than I actually know. I've forgotten more tricks than some of you guys will ever probably know. But the great thing about YouTube is you can go back and get a reminder. Look in the playlist, find the trick you want. That could be tricky with my channel. I can't find anything I'm looking for, even in the playlists. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of watching YouTube, a lot of reading books. And when you get to a certain point in knowing how things work, you can just make stuff up, can't you? You can make your own tricks up. Um, somebody also said to me once, Gaffer, how many tricks do you know? And it's like... To be real, if somebody said to me, show us a card trick gaffer without any gaffes or gimmicks or anything like that, I could probably show about, oh God, a dozen tricks maybe that I could show straight away without having to think too much about it. Um, so yeah, probably 12, a dozen, man, geez. But I've got like 1,500 videos uploaded on my channel. I know half of those are reveals and that, but yeah, I've, a lot, I've forgotten a lot more than I know. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got great support on this channel. Um, I've watched a lot of other channels, and to be honest, I'm not bigging myself up because I haven't got the greatest handling skills. But I do really think the community on this channel are fantastic. I get some great comments. I get lots of emails, lots of advice, lots of help, lots of, oh, have you seen this trick, Gaffer? How does this trick work? Um, just It's all positive. You get a little bit of negative. Oh, let's relax a little bit. A little bit of negative. Um, all these videos are generally uploaded, well, shot the day before they're uploaded, like now it is. It's 5 to 10, Friday. I'm going to upload this video tomorrow at 6am. So yeah, I've got not, I haven't got many sort of in the back catalogue that I can jump onto. So sometimes if there isn't a video, it's purely because... Um, life gets in the way. I haven't had a chance to shoot one. I haven't got anything in reserve to put up anyway. But I, I love what I'm doing. Um, it's a great way to sort of break the ice with new people. It's great at work. I get to see lots of new people. In fact, I've showed a couple of tricks to a guy called Boz. He's a labourer on a site. Um, I showed him a couple of card tricks. Um, my favourite. Oh, God, my favourite. Wrong bloody wrist. The Jack of Spades. This is not <clears throat> possibly a, one of my f favorite go-to tricks. Shuffle the cards for me. Pick a card, remember that card. Is there any way I can predict it? No, well, bang, I've got a tattoo here. And for the next couple of days, he was like, every time he saw me, he went, Whoa! and just sort of rubbed his wrist. So yeah, that's great. Um, I've got a bit of a comedy thing. If you, if you know, if they say, well, what happens if it was a Queen of Hearts? It's like, well, that would have been a little bit embarrassing. We'd have to go off somewhere private and, you know, just joking, having a laugh. But yeah. Oh, if anyone else has got a reveal tattoo, doesn't have to be this, but I'm sure some of you guys have got a tattoo somewhere that you use as a bit of a reveal. Let me know. Uh, I am waffling. I will let you go because I've got to upload this to, for tomorrow. Um, it's bank holiday weekend, three days off. So have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you tomorrow for the reveal. Cheers.